You may think you can't live without your tablet computer and your cordless electric drill, but what about the inventions that came before them? Humans have been innovating since the dawn of time to get us to where we are today. Here are just 10 of the hundreds of inventions that profoundly changed your world. 10. The Apple Eye. Without the personal computer, you would not be able to read this list. This is always true, no matter where you are. A library, a lab, or a bathroom stall. Steve Wozniak released the Apple EU personal computer in 1977. It is generally thought to be the first device that made it possible for most people to use personal computers in their homes. Since then, Apple has become a well-known brand, and computers have gone from being big machines that needed a whole room to small ones that you can carry around in your pocket or bag. That's what I mean by science. 9. Integrated Circuit Today's electronics are possible because of what Jack Kilby came up with in 1958, the integrated circuit. These days, technology would not work without this device. It is also known as a microchip and is what gives power to your smartphone, your Furby, and even some parts of your car. Several steps are needed to make an integrated circuit, which is also sometimes called a microchip. A certain type, called an N-channel metal oxide semiconductor transistor, says that the process has about 12 steps. The first step is to oxidize a clean plate of P-type silicon. This makes a thin layer of silicon that is used to make tiny computers. A certain kind of integrated circuit, which is also called a microchip, is called an N-channel metal oxide semiconductor transistor. This kind of integrated circuit does a number of things. A P-type silicon chip that is clean goes through an oxidation process that makes a thin layer of silicon dioxide. Next, a resist, which is a radiation-sensitive sheet, is put on the wafer. In lithography, the chip is covered up so that only certain parts of it are exposed to ultraviolet light. This makes the resist dissolve in the end. The parts that are exposed to light break down, revealing parts of the silicon dioxide layer. An etching method is then used to get rid of these exposed parts. The extra resist material is gotten rid of in a liquid bath before it is taken off. When parts of silicon that have been etched are heated to very high temperatures and arsenic or phosphorus vapor is applied, the P-type silicon changes to N-type silicon on the surface. In places where silicon dioxide is present, the P-type is kept. The chip goes through another round of oxidation after the silicon dioxide is taken off. A reverse mask is used with the lithography etching method to make a hole that is etched all the way down to the P-type silicon. A very thin layer of silicon dioxide is also added to the P-type part of the chip after another round of oxidation. Window shapes are carved into the N-type silicon parts as part of getting them ready for metal deposition. 8. Iconoscope Television Camera and Kinescope Receiver The first public TV shows, which were made by the Radio Corporation of America in 1939, used the popular Iconoscope. The scene that was going to be shown on TV was centered around a light-sensitive mosaic made up of very small globules of polished silver. These globules took on an electric charge that changed based on how bright the light was. A narrow scanning beam fired from an electron gun sent a series of voltages to a signal plate. Magnetic deflection coils followed the beam across the mosaic as it went. After that, the picture information was sent to an amplifier, which eventually sent it to a TV receiver. Vladimir Kosma Zworykin, an American engineer born in Russia, came up with the ideas for the iconoscope camera and the kinescope decoder. In the 1920s, both of these tools were made. The ability to send a picture from one place to another not only let you watch your favorite Saturday morning show, but it also let news and other important information spread quickly around the world. 7. Wright Flyer of 1903 If the Wright brothers' famous flight wasn't on the list of inventions, it would be missing something important. That wasn't until 1903 that the Wright brothers showed that a plane could stay in the air while being managed by a pilot. This was something that had never been done before. After this invention, trade and transportation were both changed in big ways. Without the Wright Flyer, we would not be able to have vacation weddings or ship things at the last minute for Christmas. 6. Edison Cylinder Phonograph Thomas Alva Edison invented the cylinder phonograph, which let more people listen to music. 
Two parts that were used in the first type of record player were tinfoil sheets and a moving stylus. Even though it was very different from the iPod, the invention in 1857 was the first way to carry music around with you. Think about it. Before the phonograph, people had to find someone to play music for them if they wanted to listen to it. Let's say you were always looking for Lady Gaga whenever you wanted to listen to Poker Face. 5. Celluloid Celluloid, the first man-made substance, is very important to the survival of life as we know it. In the 1860s and 1870s, industrialist and creator John Wesley Hyatt came up with the idea and worked on making it work. Before that, people around the world couldn't understand what plastic bags, Tupperware, or cheap watches were. Also, because it is used in movies, celluloid is the most well-known type of film in the world today. Celluloid is what makes guitar picks and other instruments possible. Some items that use this flexible marvel are office supplies, comms, and fountain pen bodies. Additionally, it is used in Hyatt's first task, where it is used instead of ivory because it is easier to get. Table tennis balls are made of celluloid, which is what gives them their bright spear shape. 4. Bessemer Process There was a lot of steel that could be made because of the Bessemer process. In the building industry, this was a big step forward that led to many other big steps forward as well. In the 1840s, the new method was created by Sir Henry Bessemer from England and William Kelly from the United States. They did it separately and at the same time. There are many ways to make steel these days, but the Bessemer process is one of the most important ones, pun meant. Without technology, there would be no such thing as the tall buildings we see today. 3. Saxophones Three people named Marty Marsala, Jimmy Freeman, and Bud Freeman some instruments have been around for hundreds of years, like the flute, which is thought to be at least 35,000 years old. Other instruments, on the other hand, have only been around for a few decades. The horn, on the other hand, is a bit more recent. In 1846, in the city of Paris, Antoine Joseph Sax got a license for the first saxophone. It was the first instrument of its kind because it had a stem that looked like a clarinet and a brass bell that looked like a trumpet. Without its unique sound, jazz and all the other types of music that came after it would not have been possible to hear. 2. Daguerreotype Louis Jacques Mandy Daguerre and Nikifor Nieps came up with the idea for the daguerreotype in the 1830s. It is known as the first good photograph. Niepce's first try needed eight hours of exposure time, while Daguerre's only needed 20 or 30 minutes. We can now quickly and easily take pictures of anything we want, whenever we want. Daguerre and Niepce, please accept my thanks for your help in making Instagram possible. 1. Stone Tools Stone tools were made by Homo habilis, an early human ancestor. They are one of the oldest forms of human technology. More than two million years ago, these tools were made. The first tools that people made were called choppers, and they were just sharpened stones that were made by hitting one against another. Even though it looks simple, this multi-tool can be used to cut, saw, crush, or smash things. People would have never heard of the spork if this idea hadn't been made. And that's all for today, guys. I hope you had fun. Thank you for watching and see you next time.